and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I am Steph. This is another Steph into Christmas video. However, it's more of a get chatty get ready with me and playing with some new products. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. So I've already primed my face. I use the Tensational 10 in 1 Dream Primer. I love this. I've been using this non-stop since I tried it. It just, I think it does everything it says it's doing. But I like the way it looks on my skin. Please ignore the breakouts. That We won't talk about that. Um, but I like the way it gives my skin a natural glow and I find makeup tends to sit really well on top of it. So I have popped that on. And the first new thing I'm trying today, well, new to me, is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weight Weightless Liquid Foundation up to 24 hour wear. I have the shade 40NN, so I'm hoping that it is a good match. All right, let's see what this covers. I wanted to sit down and have just a chat with everyone as well as trying the new products because I know this year has been extremely tough as it is um, but also this Christmas for everyone is gonna it's gonna look different that's the only nice way of putting it I guess um, I know for myself my my mum and my sister were meant to be coming over to visit me for a day over Christmas um, but due to the new restrictions in place although both my mum and sister are in a lower category of restrictions and so are we here um in between is an area at the highest level of restrictions so we can't cross that so unfortunately this is going to be the first year for me not seeing my mum or sister or well any other family members apart from who I live with <laughs> so it's going to look very different um, and I get that it's been it's been a really really difficult year for everyone in one way or another what with jobs losses um, illnesses you know the, the whole lot I don't want to go into the negative side of it all because I think we see enough of that as it is um, so today I just wanted to have a chat and focus on positives, like reflecting on 2020 and instead of looking at all of the the bad that has happened, which we can't, obviously can't ignore, but th there's been good things. You know, everyone's, if you look, you can find positives in pretty much any given situation. I try to anyway. Um, so for me, I, I look back and I'm ignoring the bad. So um, this foundation is not bad. I wouldn't say it's uh, amazing coverage, but it looks like skin. So when I'm looking at 2020 in a, a positive light, when I look back, had it not been for this awful situation. I think this concealer is actually a bit darker than this foundation. Um, had it not been for this situation, I wouldn't have got gotten chatting to Debbie of Final Beauty, who is amazing. I will list everybody that I speak about, I'll list their channels in the description box below. Please go show them all some love, because right now we, we all need that love. Everybody needs it right now. So yeah, please go and show them all that love. Um, yeah, Debbie, had it not been for Debbie, my, my channel wouldn't have started. I wouldn't have really given it a go. It was just something I'd kind of toyed with, but you know, something I'd like to do, didn't have the confidence, didn't think I could do it, didn't think anyone would want to watch me. 
um, just your general low confidence, <laughs> I guess. Um, but like I said, had it not been for Debbie, who is just such a wonderful person and I'm so grateful to call her a friend, my channel wouldn't have started. And in my channel starting, um, I have made some brilliant friends. I've I've met some amazing people virtually, um, obviously online. Um, just to name a few, obviously there's Debbie, Katie of Makeup for Lost Time, Anki, Makeup by Anki, Nikki Raven, just, oh, Teresa Mulhern, Amanda of Beauty and Recovery. There's also Danielle, um, Danielle Perry, who sadly is no longer on YouTube. However, I keep up to date with her through Instagram and I'm so grateful that I met her also. But yeah, Anki has been a rock for me. I, I can't thank her enough for her friendship. She has really helped me get through this. Um, it's obviously this, it's been difficult and I've been ill with this costochondritis. Sorry, I didn't mention the uh, found it. Uh, I didn't mention the concealer I was using. It is the Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer in 020 Warm Beige. Right. <laughs> yeah, Anki and I speak um, almost every day um, on WhatsApp and I have had days where I have felt just immensely low um, sitting at home on my own being in pain constantly unable to go to work um, it's I was getting I was getting really down and Anki's just been such an amazing friend she's really been there for me she's so supportive i i love that girl to bits and i again cannot thank her enough for her friendship i i have made a friend for life and i am so thankful so there's something amazing that has come out of this awful situation the powder i'm going in with is the nabla um put stuff in the lid close up baking and setting powder again I I'm loving this this is so finely milled so nice it doesn't emphasize anything I've put way too much on there <laughs> I really enjoy this powder it is a really really good powder um so obviously I have aging skin <laughs> and I find that it just sits really nice. <laughs> so yeah, without my channel, I wouldn't have discovered so many of these amazing indie brands that I've discovered. And in turn met some amazing people. Um, again, just to name a few, there's Rux from Artitude Cosmetics. Really lovely person. Her products are amazing. She's another really lovely person. I've chatted to her quite a lot and I'm so happy for her that her her brand is taking off like it is. And uh, I think I'm predicting it's going to get big. That's my, my prediction for 2020. No, that's my prediction for 2021. Yeah, there's also uh, Lisa from Makeup by Lisa, um, and I've chatted to her quite a lot too. Um, I think what really got me chatting to her initially is she she comes from where I come from, the Isle of Wight, right at the bottom of England, and uh, so we shared something in common. Her product, she's put her heart and soul into improving her products and. As you will have seen probably from previous videos of mine, if you haven't seen them, you will find videos on my channel. 
I did do a Christmas with makeup by Lisa which I can link up here um, I also did a Christmas with Artitude Cosmetics which as I'm filming is about to go up so I will link that one up here also and uh, yeah Lisa's lovely and again love her products right I'm going to quickly nip off and put my eyebrows on because they take ages and I can't talk and do them at the same time so I'm going to pop my eyebrows on and then I'll be back to continue with you right I've put my brows on um it's just the revolution brow pomade in dark brown and the lip balm I've shoved shoved on <laughs> and the lip balm I've put on is from Bybee I think you call it it's the plumper lip balm I really like this it's really nice and it's not too overpoweringly minty or anything it's just ever so slight I really enjoy it so where was I at um, I also popped in some earrings and a necklace. Um, these are all from Amy's Accessories, um, a lovely brand I discovered on Depop. She is such a sweet and lovely girl. And she does some really beautiful jewellery, some really quirky pieces as well. So I will list Amy's details in the description box below also. Like I've already said, everyone I talk about creator-wise, I will link their channel. Um, Brand wise, I will list or link their details all in the description box below so you can find them. And so, yeah, I was actually going to pop in the earrings that match this necklace. However, I put one ear earring in, and as I was putting the other one in, I kind of dropped it. And I'm, I'm sat in one little space. How can I not find it? it's like it's disappeared so yeah I've popped these in instead um, but I love these also um, I love Amy's accessories as a brand and as a person um, so I've got a new eye primer to try out well new to me and it is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance um, I've not actually heard anything about this so I'm just going to take this little brush from Unicorn Cosmetics and pop just a little bit on there, just a little squiggle and let's see what this does. Okay. There's not really much colour to it but I don't mind, just a little bit. I'm kind of leaving the lid space because I will go in well the main part of the lid space because I will go in there with a shimmer so I'll be using the NYX glitter glue so yeah where was I at um I am up to another great brand that I've discovered and you will have heard me mention it quite a lot lately because uh I've been extremely impressed is Pout and Shout I am in love with her blushes I've actually got a new blush to try out today from Pout and Shout and also a new highlighter from Pout and Shout um, Pout and Shout is run by the lovely Maria I she's so adorable she is a massive animal lover like myself so that speaks to my heart um, really caring lovely person and it's a very, very new brand. Um, she's literally only on Instagram at the moment, but she's so friendly. If there's anything you want to know, just pop her a message. She's lovely. So, yeah, big shout out there because I'd like to see her get big enough to have her own website because she not only creates amazing blushes, but she hand paints the... She uses all upcycled, recycled like reusing um the packaging and she paints them herself and look at that how amazing is that so yeah i really would love to see her grow as a brand and uh, so yeah this is the third blush i have from pout and shout and the second highlighter 
because I love the first ones so much. Right, so I'm just taking my Spectrum B08 and I'm dipping into, I'm going to have to move it because I'm using the mirror for this, the Revolution Roxy Roxaurus palette and as you can probably see this is the contour shade that I use and I love it. Yeah, just a, a bit of contour in these hollows here. Give my face a bit more shape. Um, just a little bit down the sides of the nose. Not overly concerned with nose contouring, just a little bit. I know I haven't got the perfect nose, but I don't hate my nose either. That's got to be a good thing. There you go. See, another positive. I don't hate my nose. <laughs> okay, so the eyeshadow palette I am going to be using is, again, new to me, but not a new palette. It's the Zulu by Juvia's Place. And she looks like this. Absolutely gorgeous. I've been so excited to try this. Right, I am going to first be dipping into this pink here. There's no names in this one. Do you know, I didn't notice that. Well, at least I can't butcher the names if there aren't any there. So, we're going in first with this pink. And I'm just going to be placing that in the crease and outer corner. Now, Juvia's Place is another brand I discovered in 2020. And I love it. Yeah, I find Juvia's Place shadows just to be... Well, I love the mattes, but the shimmers are actually just completely something else. And then... Oh, did I say what that was? That first brush I used was just a little Morphe one. There's no name or number on it. But I like it. And the next colour I'm going in with with my Spectrum A12 is this orange up here so let's see if this is going to work out so I'm first just placing it around the edge and then kind of blending Yeah, another brand that I discovered this year and again like I believe Artitude Cosmetics is the only one out of the brands I've mentioned that didn't start this year. Yeah, um, but another one that I discovered that did was Lois Cosmetics and uh, Lois is another really lovely lady. Her products are amazing the gone rogue eyeshadow palette is one of my favorite discoveries of this year i have a christmas with lois cosmetics video which i can link up here yeah <laughs> um i do have a first impressions video of the gone rogue palette i also have one of her easy rain liquid eyeshadows in kingdom which is a beautiful green um that is beautiful and apparently comparable to the Stila liquid eyeshadows that everyone raves about. I'm thinking um, for 2021 of starting a series like a, a throwback Thursday, maybe once a month, um, just digging out an older palette and creating a look with it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Is that something you'd be interested in or, or not? <laughs> or do you have any better ideas because I really want to bring in the older palettes a bit more give them some more love um, especially the times we're in at the moment obviously money is a big issue for a lot of people so I figured there's going to be a lot of people like myself um, who are lower on money due to we won't mention what, but everyone knows what I'm talking about. Um, but due to that, obviously, not being able to buy all the new things coming out, there's a lot of people that have the older palettes and maybe just want some ideas of 
looks they can create with them. But yeah, let me know if you think that's a good idea. So the next colour I'm going in with is the yellow. It's quite nice actually that they haven't got names. I, I do love when the eyeshadow palettes, when the shades have names. Um, however, with Juvia's I'm always butchering the names. So it's quite nice not to be. Oh, this is a really nice yellow. Oh, Juvia's. This yellow is perfect. Like literally just with a little touch, the pigment. Wow. Okay. I think this yellow is not messing around. So on the subject of palettes, I know that for Christmas I have the Melt and Beetlejuice recently deceased palette coming. My wonderful boyfriend has got it for me for Christmas. So Christmas morning, I'm going to be playing with that. And I may just film it. I doubt it will go up on Christmas Day, but you never know. But I'm the moment I unwrap that, the, it is going to have to go on my eyes. It's so beautiful. And I'm so excited. I'm a massive Beetlejuice fan. So, and I've been dying to try Melt's eyeshadow formula because I've heard so many people rave about it. But also, I've got quite a few of their bullet lipsticks and I love them. They have been an amazing find of 2020. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really looking forward not only to having the Beetlejuice palette, but to trying out Melt's eyeshadow formula. I cannot get over how amazing this yellow is. Alright, so I'm just dipping in with this uh, Jessup 226 smudger into the pink. And I'm just going to be running that against the lower lash line there. And then the orange. Just a little bit of that orange. Oh, this is so pretty. And then a touch of that yellow. Okay, so I want to go on my lid with some shimmers. So as always, I am going to nip off, pop some glitter primer on my eyelids and then come back to carry on with the eye look with you. Okay, so glitter primer on. And now I've been dying to try this shade. So I'm going to dip into this beautiful blue shimmer and I'm going to be placing that all the way across my lid. I'm trying to go in a little bit at a time because I don't want any fallout. This, oh, look at that. Oh, that is so beautiful. I wanted to go for something a bit more bright and colorful, just a, a pick me up. So guys, in the comment section below, let me know what are your positives from 2020. Let's create a positive comment section. And for those of us that need cheering up, I have found that today, really looking at the positives and what I've achieved and, and what's come out of this year, the good, has made me feel a lot better today. So I started today feeling extremely low I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to film anything even so far as when I started filming today I I just wasn't sure if it was going to be one that I uploaded because I wasn't sure how positive I could be but this has really made me feel better it's really helped because there are positives it's not all bad I think you've just got to make the best of what you have. See, I have found that this has been really helpful. For me, anyway. So, yeah, let me know what your positives are, because it might make a difference to some other people. You just never know. I think we really all need to 
share the love at the moment because we're all feeling it in one way or another. And I'm just going to use this pink shimmer down here to try and create a blend between the blue and pink before I go back in with that pink matte. I don't know if this is going to work, but it is worth a try. Ooh. And then with the other side of the brush, back in with the blue. Okay, yeah, I'm liking that. That has worked. Sorry if you can hear the cat. I think he's uh, a bit annoyed that he's shut out of the room. So just dipping back into that pink mat, just to get into this outer edge here a bit. So I'm gonna nip off, do my eyes and lips, and then come back to do the blusher and highlight with you. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so eyes and lips finished, well apart from the inner corner and brow bone highlight. Um, so I'll just let you know what I've popped on. The lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics in the style Queen. I have got the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in black and the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude liner and lash adhesive in one, just where I wanted to stick the lashes down. In my waterline is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Tutu Turquoise. I have the Barry M Mascara, that's how I roll. The lipstick I have on is Lime Crime Velveteen's Liquid Lipstick in the shade Peacock. So let's move on. So the blusher I'm going to be using is the Juicy Lucy from Pout and Shout. It says Dwibbly Kisses Pour Toi. I've got blue lipstick on my finger. Um, and she looks like this. So I'm just going to be very careful. They are super, super pigmented. I need to remember this every time I put them on. They are super, super pigmented. Oh, wow. Another great one. These blushes are something else. It's so pigmented, so you really only need to go in with a little bit at a time. But they are so good. Now, I highly recommend these blushes. They're amazing. And they're definitely something different to add to your collection. What with the, uh, where they're hand-painted. Yeah, I love these. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that's the Juicy Lucy. So yeah, the brush I used was the Spectrum A04. Um, I believe it's from the Disney Mickey Mouse collection. I love that brush. And right, for highlight, I have the Happy Glow Lucky Highlighter from Pout and Shout in the shade Lucky Dice. Again, hand painted, beautiful. And this, I don't know how well you can see the shade is a like a purpley shade so let's see what happens here Ooh. oh i like that another great product from pelt and shout so this is the second highlighter i have from Pelt and Shell. The other one I have is Lucky Black Cat, and that's a really icy highlight. This is beautiful. So I'm gonna use that highlighter, the Lucky Dice, on my inner corner and brow bone. That's really nice, I really like that. Oh. Look at that, beautiful. So everyone I have talked about, creator, brand, again, 
all will be listed linked in the description box below or the brush I used for that in a corner highlight um, is the Jessup 237 detail shader and the highlighter brush I used is actually I think it's meant to be a um, an eye brush from BH Cosmetics 12 but I use it for highlight well I don't know about you guys but I have found that looking at the positive things has really given me a boost that I really needed I needed to pull myself out of that hole that I was allowing myself to fall into um, so yeah I hope you guys um, managed to find the positives too if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up hit the like button it really helps me out if you're new around here then I hope you'll consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload so that's it from me today. I hope you're all having a great evening, a great day, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.